Hey guys and girls, Dragon here. Welcome back to Star Wars Your Republic. Before we continue on with the questing and story and all that, uh, two things I want to go over. Oh, a few things I want to go over actually. Just reached level 10. Uh, as I left it last time, what, level 9 and like 3 quarters, so I went out and just grinded the extra little bit to get to level 10 instead of going out, killing a few mobs, coming back, training and having to cut out all this video. And to save you guys time, what I unlocked was the ability to PvP. The way PvP works in this game is uh, you can go in at level 10, all the way through level 50, and you got different type of modes and all that, which we will cover, but not just yet. The reason why I don't want to go in just yet, especially at level 10, is When you go into a, a battle, uh, yeah, battlefield, you could call it. If you're level 10 and there's someone on your team or the other team that's level 50, what the game does is, because there's no level brackets, it will just scale your stats to level 50. Now that may sound good, but you only have level 10 abilities. Why they have level 50 abilities? So it's not the best to go in at lower levels. Um, I'm hoping they fix it one day. That would be awesome. But yeah, till then, you, that's something you got to be wary of. Okay, so that's PvP. The other thing is advanced class training, which I don't know if it's available on this planet. I'm not too sure. But this is basically your talent tree system. And uh, the way it works is each class has like two um, advanced classes to choose from and they each have three talent trees to choose from uh, I'll show you guys when I do get to there I don't know what I'm going to pick yet what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to look up what role I want to play on the internet because I don't want to go into something to find out mm, this is not what I want to play and then I won't want to feel like playing it uh, that's just uh, advanced training, but we'll cover more when we get there. Um, another thing is companion gifts. Right, I got her. She's not exactly my companion. I think she's classified as guest. I don't know. Okay, but I'm pretty sure she ended up being my companion. So you just, even though it's red, I don't know why it's red, but you just uh, right click on it and watch this. This is great, thanks. Affection. Here we go. Affection. So what affection basically does is it, it, it ma it's how they feel towards you as a, a master or a companion. Um, they each have their own personality. So some might like that you went all dark side. Some might like that you went light side. Others might like that you kill someone. Others might like that you save someone and that sort of thing. Um, they also like different gifts if you want to give them gifts and the reason you get affection with them is when you get um, professions or crafting skills the time it takes to craft an item and gather mats uh, materials is less so that's why you want to work on that and lastly before we continue on is you see this green uh, green glow what this is is that they can be found all over the world and they are called law objects. And what you do is you just examine them. They go into your codex, and you get like XP and uh, an entry of some sort. There you go. And anyone can pick it up. It's you can't. You can only pick it up once. And yeah, that's it. So we're gonna run back to the um, the quest area now and finish the final trial, and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. A um, few things, there's a bit of story just over there which I'll get to in a bit. But I don't know if you guys can see, over here there's a green glow. That's a Datacron. They give you base stats uh, if you can find them. Normally the catch is, especially in the other planets you go to, is you have to look up at least which not many players do because they're too busy concentrating on where they're going. I will get to them. The reason why I'm not chasing them down now 
is half the time the mobs in the area are your level or higher and it's a real effort to get to them so what I'm going to do is when I finish a planet uh, or the next planet up then I'll go back to the previous planet and get them all and oh I might record them I mean there is a lot of Datacron uh, videos out on YouTube already Acolyte, may I speak to you for a moment? Sure, why not, Sentry? Go ahead. Thank you. I'm honored that you would do me the courtesy. There was another Acolyte, not long ago, who entered this tomb and did not come back. He... he died in there. Tell me how he died. I don't know, but I could tell he was dying. I heard him scream, even through the great tomb doors. The Acolyte who went in there, he... he was a good sort. Friendly and talkative. He said he was entering the tomb to prove himself to his father. I just thought it would be nice if somebody took his body back and told his father he didn't make it. You've got legs. <laughs> yes, the father should be told that his son has fallen. I'd never survive in there. And even if I did, I wouldn't be allowed to see his father. He is a Dark Honor Guard stationed in the Academy. None but Sith can ever set foot on the sacred ground where he stands watch. But you could find the body and bring it to his father. Please do this and honor the Fallen. If I see the Acolyte's body, I will try to retrieve it. Thank you so much. If you find the Acolyte's remains inside the tomb, let me know. I can tell you where to find his father in the Academy. Good luck. She got the big ass gun on the back and she can't defend herself. Enough to go get the body. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, what have I got to do? Find the hidden switches. Mm. Well, there's one straight away. Yep. Just like I left it. This place is still ultra creepy. The hell is going on here? Click it, damn it. Oh, that's the body. No worries, you can just pick it up and put it in your pocket. <laughs> Did I click it? Okay. And then we got another quest here. Who wet move down Jackley? Costly GK. You might have been, yes? Uh yes. I'm an acolyte now, but I'll be Sith soon. Come yes, let you get her fresh and up. Uh, slow down, dude. Why don't you start from the beginning? Stronger? What do you mean, stronger? Maru, I'm interested in helping. There is strength and power within you. I'd like to know the source. And then we're going to enter the story area, which is after the switches. Hey, this is it. The secret entrance to the hidden cavern is in here. Just let me get my bearings.
Come on! Look out! Look out! Indeed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Clemrel, how dare you interfere? This business is far beyond you. He saved my life. I'm not going to let you stab him in the back. Uh... Well, well, Clemrel. I'm impressed. You have more nerve than I gave you credit for. I'm surprising no. myself, too. I have a surprise for you. Not too violent, was it? The fool must have spotted me following you. Too bad his warning will do you no good. It ends now. Once I kill you, the slave girl will show me the Forbidden Cave, and I will claim the lightsaber and my rightful place as Lord Barris's apprentice. Please, Venren, don't let it come to this. I will kill you if I have to. My passions run deeper than yours. I am the true essence of what it is to be Sith. Probably. My legacy has suffered long enough. After today, you will be forgotten. It ends here and now. I guess we can't be friends. That's a shame. You think you scare me? Come on, man. Come on, man. Stop picking on the girl. I never taught. Oops, why am I trying to do that? Come on, man. Get him! Kill him! Kill him! Oh. oh, he wants to talk now. Eh, beat up a girl. Becoming Barris's apprentice was my destiny. Did I come this far and overcome such adversity, only to be proven unworthy? Don't be so hard on yourself, Vimrin. You have been a worthy opponent. Shut up! There is only victory or death. <laughs> I refuse to live a, a lesser life. Finish me. I will not accept mercy. Uh, <laughs> Backhanded him. Wow. Nice work. Oh man, you guys are gonna have so much fun playing Dark Side. Just find the Forbidden Cavern. I already have. See? The secret entrance is right here. Been most helpful. It's nice to be acknowledged. Thanks. As you saw down there, that was um, companion points. Uh, like I said, it goes towards affection. I don't know. Normally, when you do this, her health goes up to. Oh, it is up. That's some weird bug. Uh, if I gotta go through here. I do. Uh, all the way down there. Okay, I'll uh, be right back. Now we're back. Um, somehow I managed to leap over that guy and he didn't aggro, which is pretty amazing. Because there was like three droids at the back. I don't know if you can see the bodies. Time to get my lightsaber. Oh, what was that? No, no, I've got to fight it. 
Oh, there we go. Sweet. Ooh, fancy moves. Look out. I think he all mad. I saw his lightsaber. Oh, fun. Let's make sure I equip it. Okay, and to give me a little bit of an edge, what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to put these mods in. You just right click them. One of them is strength and endurance, the other one is endurance and different color. Uh, so apply. There we go. And now instead of red, you got yellow and black. I know it's not true Sith, but obviously we'll change it once we find something better with stats. Here we go. Go ahead, get back here. Got time you help. Jeez. So yeah, lightsaber. What these are is uh, customable ones, and what you can do is if you like, I think I explained this before, but if not, I'll go over it again. If you like a certain item, you can just keep customizing the attachments to it. Uh, say if you find like with my Jedi Knight, he's got like a really sweet robe, and all I do is keep swapping out the the hilt, the mod, and the enhancement, and all that, and the color crystal sometimes. Um, and yeah, I can keep it and just keep upgrading and keep upgrading and keep upgrading. And as you go up in higher levels, you unlock better mods. Which is a pretty sweet idea. Um, it looks like I have to go all the way back to the start of the entrance. So once again, I am going to cut out the run back.